what is up YouTube and or Twitch depending on what you are watching this on this is the Gentello project I am back here on Pokemon blue I have not played since Wednesday so I'm not entirely sure what I'm in the middle of let me just take a second to look I think this is a Jolteon yep I think I just I had just beaten the fourth gym and I was going to all oh, right go south from here to see um i don't remember what the city or what city this goes to i believe it goes to the one with the um the safari zone maybe perhaps um that would make sense so we'll just see who's in front of our party here we got squirter um, I know we were trying to evolve him, but why don't we put Eevee up front and uh, start with that. I think this is a fisherman if I had to guess. So, yep. So this will probably have a bunch of water type Pokemon. Gold Deans. Indeed. Okay, sweet. So, um, oh, and I forgot this. Eevee does not have any, any electric moves. Crap. Okay, well, I guess we're, uh, we could double edge through most things, I think. Uh, yep, critical hit. I don't, well, I guess, I don't know if that will matter. We'll have to see what happens after we get a non-critical hit one. Uh, polywag, go for another double edge. I think I have some potions to heal off damage, but I'm not sure. Um, again, haven't played in a few days, so we'll see. As soon as I can actually get, um, like, uh, hmm, what is it called? Thunder. As soon as I can get Thunder, Eevee will be super, super tough. And then, whatever Eevee learns that, um, that, like, um, Pin Missile or something? I don't remember the name of the move, but it's a grass, or not grass, it's a, um, Oh, I want that item. I'll have to come back here when I know Surf. It's a bug type move that I can use against psychic types. Um, that'll be super helpful. Alright, got another fisherman. Let's go. Oh, we got a tentacle coming out. Um... All right, so go with the double edge again. I don't know, I don't remember how good tentacles and tentacruels were in this original game. Um, I know they're, they're fairly useless in newer games, but some of the Pokemon from the older games are actually a lot stronger in first gen. Um, all right, Goldeen's pretty tough then. Oh, please don't kill me with that horn attack. I'm going to go for a quick attack. That should take it out. And, oh, ooh. do I survive it? Nope, critical hit. That's unfortunate. Okay, who else is kind of low that we want to train up? I guess looks like King, pretty low. Which is weird because King's probably, all in all, one of the stronger Pokemon on my team. Um... Just from its wide move set, Nido King was really, really good way back in the day. For anyone that doesn't remember, um, for speed runs for Pokemon uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow, Nido King was actually the man to use because great move set, uh, super strong, good stats, and uh, could pretty much get him like I did for this playthrough. Um, completely fully evolved by. Uh, I think, I don't know, probably three, four minutes into Mount Moon. So, um, let's see here. Goldeen. I, I remembered some of these guys having a lot of magic harps that might have been in yellow, though, or maybe I'm just not at that area yet. Or I could just be making that up. That happens a lot with me. You'll see if you watch on stream that. I have a pretty shitty memory, so I remember a lot of things that probably didn't happen, but that's okay. So, alright, I just came from that way, we'll go down here. Um, oh, I normally like to walk around so they don't walk to me. 
because I think it saves time. But uh, that guy caught me slipping with my pants down. All right, fisherman wants to fight. We got a polywag. That should be no problemo for this. I. It seems like I might have, or I probably should have went down this path before I went over to the other city because everything's so under leveled compared to my Pokemon but on the other hand I don't know even like the team rocket hideout seem really under leveled for me so I'm not really sure this might have just been bad balancing by Game Freak and you know it's their first attempt at a game though I guess I really can't excuse it saying it's the first attempt considering you know, 20 years later, they still really haven't figured out a good formula for what the progression of a Pokemon game should be. Because it still gets really easy in the later games. Or, up until the ones I kept playing. I stopped playing after a while, but... I think starting now with this on Twitch, I'll probably play through all of them. I think there's only... Or the only, like, releases I didn't play are Black and White 2, um... X and Y, and uh, I never finished Omega Ruby. I, I got like two gems and maybe, and then didn't finish it. Cause I just wasn't feeling very much like Pokemon. But I guess you can see now I'm definitely feeling like Pokemon. So do I have Pokeballs to catch this? I have four Great Balls. Hmm. Should I go get more? I can't put him to sleep, and I can whittle him down a pretty decent amount. So... I think I'll just go with this. If I catch him, I'll probably end up using him on my final team. If I don't catch him, then I will... I guess I'll use a Tauros or something. Alright, this should wake up. Snorlax woke up. Okay, good. All right, let's see if we can catch this dude. It, and it would be ideal to actually include him on the team because he's perfect level to join in. So we use a Thunderbolt to see how much damage that does. I know he has a lot of HP. I don't know. Oh, I guess he does seem pretty tanky. And that's going to make him even more tanky. Which isn't, you know, terrible. Considering that just means... It'll be harder for me to... Oh, crap. I didn't know he had rest. Which seems stupid of me now. I should have known. Hmm. Do I want to try Thrash? That could kill him. But I don't think it'll be enough to kill him. Um, this could be a mistake. But... Oh, yep, this seems like a mistake now. Please be done after this turn. Nope, I fucked up. Okay, I screwed that up royally. So I guess we're not going to have a Snorlax on the team. Calm down, return to the mountains. I don't see any mountains nearby. That's a Hyper Potion, that's nice. Um, where is this exactly? This is... Oh, okay. This is right near uh, the third gym. Alright, we will go down then. And we will keep going south. Um, oh, another trainer. Okay. I think this health... The, 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 the... That... <laughs> that wasn't very good English. I think this house is where the good rod is. We shall see, though sent out a Voltorb. Alright. Um, rock slide. That's good. That's good. Alright. Oh, it's alright. Critical hit. Very nice. About to use an Electrode. I will keep the same thing in and I'll use a Rock Slide for this too. Um light screen. I don't think that's going to end up making a difference. 
Actually, is this a special attack or a physical? I think all rock moves are physical this gen. Hmm, I could be wrong. Alright, well, Thrash should take care of it anyways. Should... Oh! Hmm. Very close to one hit. But, that's okay. Take it out three turns. Very good. Um... This should be bringing me towards the fifth gym, if... I mean, again, if I remember what I'm talking about. The fishing guru's brother, simply love fishing. Yeah, sure, I like fishing. Have no room for it. Okay, let's see. Use some items then. Use a revive on Eevee. And then I think I have only one hyper potion that I can use. So, yeah, only one hyper potion. We'll use that on Eevee. And then I should have enough room to get the good rod. And yes, I like to fish, and he will give this to me. Oh, he is the super rod. So, I must have missed one of them. I guess I'm probably not going to be using another water type Pokemon, but let's use super rod see what we can get. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Not even an. Oh, I think I hit the button too quick. I think I'm supposed to wait until oh it's a bite oh okay that is how fishing works i haven't done this in a while tentacool um level <laughs> all right i think it's safe to say i won't be using that tentacool on my party and going down going down hmm Right, I guess we will battle this guy to see what this item is. But I probably need to get rid of another item. So what if we got dome, lift key, blah, 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 escape rope, elixir, HP. Uh, let's toss the escape rope and we'll fight this guy. You never know what you could catch. That's pretty true. That's very true. Oh, he's a fisherman. I thought he was talking about, like... Alright, never mind. Oh, here we go. There are magic carps. This will be practice for killing Gyarados in the Elite Four. Um, okay. That was about as much experience as I would expect from killing a magic carp. Um... Why don't I put in Eevee? Because because the Magikarp can't really fight back in this game, so it's not a lot of experience. But 100 XP is 100 XP, man. And I don't think they'll have very good stats, anyways. <laughs> Splash, and then it evolves into an absolute monster in this generation, especially since it has really high attack and. Um, you know, Hyper Beam is a normal move, which makes it a physical move this generation. Oh, found an iron that is worth a lot of money. Probably like $4,000. Alright, that's good. Let's see, battle this guy. Have you found a Moonstone? I have. I have like a shit ton of them in my bank, man. I guess that means he's gonna have Nidorinos or Clefables or something. Nidoran. You don't even need a Moonstone yet. What the hell is your problem? But let me show you what a Nido King does. Absolutely destroys. Alright. Fury attack. Boom. Oh. That is several in a row. That's not good. That's not good at all. But it's okay. We're gonna thrash through. Should get another thrash off on whatever comes in. Oh, a Nido Reno. Well, man, you should get one of those stones and evolve it. Nido King is a beast. Oh, it ends a turn early. Or a turn early from what I need. Hurt myself in confusion. That's not good. All right, come on now. Thrash about. Oh. Focus energy. All right, I need to hit him this turn. Let's go. There we go. That's it. Boom, boom, boom. Knock, knock. Open up the door. It's real. Ooh, 33. That's beautiful. 
All right, Nido King's getting tough. Ow. Talks to you, kid. Let's find a super potion and use that on Nido King. That dude's starting to get a lot, or actually all my Pokemon are starting to get a lot of HP. Is there, nope, nothing down this way. Let's go, keep going. Keep moving southward. Um, okay, it looks like patches of grass, grass in here. Let's see if there's any interesting Pokemon in here or any items first. Okay, so what do we got in this grass here? Let's hope for something interesting. Though to be honest, I don't particularly have anything off the top of my head that I would want it to be. Though I will say I wasn't particularly hoping for bell sprouts. I will run from this and try to find one more Pokemon. And then we'll see. Venonat's cool. Um, I don't think it would be really useful for me but that's okay we'll um we'll just keep keep moving uh keep on going towards the city and keep on going south all right and oh there's another patch of grass over there so i guess we can see what's in there and it'll probably be similar pokemon but like that guy says you never know so I'll just check it out i don't have anything else to do just moving on southward, so might as well keep checking every once in a while. And for this, of course, I'm going to use the Thunderbolt. Should knock it out in one hit. Beautiful. Okay. And, oh, what the hell am I doing? And there we go. I'm about to use a Poliwag. I'm going to switch out Pokemon, though, because Eevee... Is, again, the weakest Pokemon down by three levels now. So, you should get a lot of experience from double edging these guys. And can we take them out? Oh, looks like we're going to need a... <sighs> Boy, I would have been pissed if that had went through. Alright, quick attack, that's good. Hopefully they have some fucking full heals in the next city. Because... That's what I want. I want to buy revives, full heals, and potions, and nothing else. Alright, double edge, that's good. Ooh, so close, so close. That should be very ineffective. Only 6 HP. Alright, and then we quick attack, and we knock him out. Lather, rinse, and repeat. Eevee getting some good experience, leveling him up some. And, okay. Gonna keep on moving south. This guy is gonna battle us. My bird Pokemon want to scrap. Scrap. Okay. Oh my god, look at this dude's haircut. <laughs> oh my god, this game is showing its age. That was like the cool haircut back then. If you had like a mohawk or something, that was like the the like teenager mom you don't understand me haircut and it's a really bad it's a facebook quality meme so it's not really good but it, it is kind of funny when uh someone's been sharing photos like why does every dude have a pidgeotto haircut nowadays and that just makes me die laughing like it's so accurate though like all these weird half cut comb over things that people are wearing recently i don't get it i don't see the appeal but people keep doing it so i guess some people like it it's not like i have great hair anyways so switch put oh i wanted to put eevee up front i hit b by accident okay this lady will fight too i'm told i'm good for a kid that sounds disgusting it sounds entirely inappropriate all right. Oh my lord, you have a lot of Pokemon. Are they all going to be weak? Um, I'll try to quick attack and see how much damage that does. Kind of low level. Critical hit. Will I be able to kill it off in one more? Hopefully. I, I would think so. Yeah, that worked good. Two crits. Good. That went in my favor. I'm gonna be a Meowth. 
we'll see what level. 24 again. Um, hmm. Three crits in a row, that's pretty good. Keep counting them up, see how many I get in a row. It's not good when it crits on me. Is this going to be one, two? Nope, only three in a row. Alright, about to use a Rattata. We'll leave this in. Go for another quick attack. Oh, a little less than half. Go for one more. Please crit. Ah. Oh. How much damage? Not enough to kill. Oh, pfft. critical fucking figures. Okay, all right, we'll put in Paris, trainer in Paris. Um, we'll just cut, of course, they quick attack. 14 damage on a fucking critical. How dare they? All right, about to use a Pikachu, a Pikachu, okay. Let's destroy this thing. This is back when Pikachu used to be fat. All right, this should do, yeah, crap damage, good. Pa oh my fucking god. Paralyzed, the bane of my existence. Uh, I think I've spent more time under paralysis, sleep, and poison than anything else in this game. And I still can't buy full heals, and I've been to like five fucking cities already. Who thought this was a good idea? Alright, we'll Mega Drain. Mainly because I had a sneaking suspicion that we would be much, much slower, even though we're several levels higher. So we'll just heal off damage. It used Screech on me. It's an idiot. Oh, maybe not. I'm the idiot. Alright, come on now, Mega Drain. Boom. Part of the problem here is that I still, or I don't have any Pokemon with uh, fighting moves. So all these normal type Pokemon that keep showing up, I don't really have uh, anything that's super effective against them. So, got paralysis on you. I might as well, I'm gonna put Squirter at the front. Cause it's so damn close, the, the, the close to becoming a Blastoise. What does this say? Route 13, north to Silence Bridge. What the hell is Silence Bridge? Can I just, nope, I just can't keep going this way. All right, let's see. Boom, got this lady. Your badges are too cool. Interesting. It was very nice of her to say. All right, what does she got? Poliwag? Should be no, oh, level 30. That's gonna be some good experience I hope um, I should be able to bite this thing double slap with its tail I guess hit it with a bite that's good damage oh I'm telling you these fucking status ailments at least it doesn't have anything to do damage to me Probably gonna be 10 turns before I wake up. So, everyone just sit back and relax. Oh, there we go. Gonna double slap again. Did I get speed dropped? Or is it naturally just faster than me? Okay, thank god it didn't use hypnosis again. Alright, that's good. Use bite. Boom. Alright, free experience. Let's go, let's go. About to use a polywag again. I'll keep him. Alright, use a bat. <sighs> I guess it does just... Ooh. Ooh, keeps getting me. Keeps going. Oh, come on, man. Pain in my fucking ass. Come on now. Double slapping me. That's not good. That is no good. Woke up. Good. Use bite. No. Fucking shit. 
status ailments or fucking aids in first generation. Especially since when you sleep, you wake up, that wastes your turn. So I'm already screwed from the get-go because it outspeeds me. It can just use another hypnosis with deadly accuracy. And I could switch out, or they could have just not designed the game like this. Not missed. I don't wake up. I'm gonna be a few more turns before I wake up, I'd guess. But it's okay, because I got potions, so I'll just sit here all day while this is happening. Maybe, uh, for the viewers, I will tell a story since the gameplay is not very entertaining right now um so what kind of story can i tell hmm let me think of a good story oh okay so a couple weeks ago i went to a red sox game with my girl and two friends and uh we're at the game, and one of my friends decides to take off right after the game. He's going to get home for dinner. No problem. So it's just me, my friend, and my girl. And, uh... We're... Do you want to Pokemon with me? Is that what that lady just said? Jesus Christ. Okay, sorry. But anyways. So, you know, we're... We're getting on the subway... Alright, we're getting into the subway station. We go down, and on the other side of the platform, we hear some commotion. Now, I want to stress that this is one of the situations where both sides of the platform are going to get onto the same train. So, we're watching this, but it's also going to end up affecting us in a few minutes when the train gets here, because that person is going to end up being that train. So... We're standing there, and from the other side of the train, we hear some guy scream out, I'd like to fucking blow you. That caught my interest. It's not something you hear every day, so I turn over, or I turn around and look. You know, everyone's kind of staring at this point. And it's some guy on the other side screaming at some poor dude just standing there trying to ignore him. The guy that's screaming looks kind of drunk. And he screams, I'd like to get on my knees and show you that I'm a queen. So again, I'm just kind of standing there in awe that I'm witnessing this happen. This guy just screaming these weird things at this dude. Just screaming about how he would love to give a blowjob to this other guy that's just standing there trying to ignore this dude. And we're all just, you know, on the subway platform listening to this story. So then the guy realizes that this crazy dude is just not going to go away. He's just going to keep screaming at him. So he decides, so he realizes, like, he, you know, he's going to do something to, like, leave the situation. So he, he grabs his stuff, he starts walking away. Now this dude that's screaming, of course, ends up following him and pushes him towards the stairs. So the guy falls. Now this poor dude is having a terrible day, let me tell you. Because he's being just assaulted by this guy. Everyone's watching him and no one's helping. I'm on the other side. I can't do anything about this. Because I can't reach over to what's going on, you know? Like, the train tracks are in the middle of me. I'm on the other side, but we're all getting in the same train. So then, this lady on my side starts screaming, Stop that! You stop it! Someone stop that! And she's screaming at the guy, Please stop it! Don't do that to him! And, you know, I, that lady's very brave. Even if she's on the other side of the train track, because we're going to get in the same train. But she's very courageous because she wants to stop all this terrible stuff that's happening. But, I mean, in my head, I'm kind of thinking, like, I don't think there's really any reasoning with a guy that's going up to other people and starting to scream about how they'd like to blow them and that they want to be their queen or whatever. You know, like, that dude was clearly, like, drunk or on drugs or something. Like, there was something, like, wrong with that guy that he's willing to just go up to strangers in public and scream about how he wants to blow them. You know what I mean? So he's not going to, this lady's not going to get anywhere while trying to talk to this guy rationally. So I, I thought this lady's like a hero. And then she starts saying faggot and starts screaming it at that guy about how he's this and how all people like him. I mean, I think I'm assuming here that she means all gay people should die, blah, blah, blah. 
and she's saying all these terrible things about gay people because this one dude's trying to like sexually assault this other guy and i'm standing there you know all my friend or my friend and my girl were, were watching this unfold not screaming anything and we don't do anything because this is like what i said to my friend like do all these people realize that like we're going to be getting on the same train together like all of us are going on the same train to the same location together like we sh don't start a fight you're going to end up in the same subway car as these people so um then security came to grab the guy that was pushing people and screaming about how he wants to blow people but that guy ran to the other side of the track and got into the other train on the other side that was just about to leave to try to like evade being caught and i don't know if they ended up catching him or not or what happened because now he's like you know two tracks over i can't really follow what's going on but it was uh it was certainly an interesting experience to uh to watch i I, I, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen on public transportation. Um, I felt bad for everyone involved, but uh, don't get me wrong, that was pretty, pretty weird and wacky to watch in real life. So that is my, that is my strange story for the day. I try to think of any other story. Well. I have something else that's like kind of dumb, but it's like something I did that like me and my friends used to do, but it's not really as weird as the other one. It's just like when me and my friends used to ride like the T together on buses or something, like it's something stupid we used to do that probably was like, well, it is rude and I'm surprised more people or like no one complained about us or complained to us when we did it, but like we used to, you know, like, grab the metal bars at the top and, like, do chin-ups or, like, see how long we could hang there and all sorts of stuff on, like, trains and buses a lot. And, uh, I don't know why we did it. We, we just kind of laughed the whole time that we were doing it. Just, you know, a little showboating on the train for all the people that probably weren't interested and were just trying to ignore us being obnoxious teenagers. But, uh... We used to do that a lot. It's, I guess we're weird people. But that's okay. Because at least we weren't walking up to people screaming about how we should blow them. So, you know, we could have been worse. Um, but that was certainly a strange turn for this stream and or YouTube video to take. Depending on where or how you're watching this. Let's see what is over in here in this grass um probably just gonna be some more grass type pokemon that i don't want but we will test it out see if there's anything interesting and it doesn't how are we, how have we not gone in a county yet when i'm like walking in grass and i want to find a pokemon I, it takes me like you know 10 well, not 10 minutes, but that's an exaggeration. But it takes me a while. And then, like, when I'm not trying to find Pokemon, I... Oh, of course I can't escape. I'm par paralyzed. Oh, okay, there we go. So I'm gonna assume that means there's fuck all in that grass. And nothing interesting that I... Or nothing interesting that I would want to catch. So... I know that my Squirtle is still paralyzed and weak, but I'm probably going to let it faint, to be honest, so that it can uh, be revived and not have a status ailment. That's what I'm thinking right now. Um, okay, Bird Keeper. More birds, that's fine. I've got some ice beams left, so I have no problem for that. Um, okay. Just use another. Oh, fucking sand attack! It's, it's another thing. It's not. This isn't necessarily capped at first gem because this is a screwed up thing in all Pokemon games. But they need to get rid of all accuracy reducing moves because it's just annoying. Like 
I know they're banned in competitive play for the most part, but even when we're not talking about competitive play, like, if you are playing Pokemon, have you ever lost a battle to someone, whether it's an NPC or, a, or your friend or whatever, who used double team or who used sand attack or something and felt like you actually got outplayed? Or did you feel like your friend's a fucking asshole and that you don't want to play with them anymore because they use shitty moves and you hate them? Like, I've, I've never lost a battle to missing a bunch of times in a row and thought like, wow, I got so outplayed and that was so skillful of them. Like, it just breeds AIDS gameplay that no one wants to sit through. Because, like, I'm fine with being outsped. To a lesser degree, I understand status ailments, like, placed in the meta. Except for, like, sleep. But, uh, accuracy diminishing moves are just a pain in it. Finally, a fucking thunder move. Okay, or an electric move. Yes, okay, what do I want to get rid of? I'm going to get rid of Tackle for Thundershock, and this should actually really help for this battle. So it's probably going to be a bunch of bird types. A Spearow, okay, that's no problem. Let's uh, try out Thundershock. Boom. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, that's nice. I think my Eevee is, or I think Eevee... The, the, the. I think Jolteon, i.e. my Eevee, in general, have higher special attack than attack. Kim Newton, Sword Stance, Rock Polish, Double Team, Baton Pass is greater than a Sweeper. Oh. I think my butthole just puckered reading that. Like, I can't even describe the rage I just felt in my body reading what you just wrote to me. But on the other hand, like... If I, if I let someone use double team four times, sword dance once or twice, and then rock polish once, and a baton pass without knocking out that Pokemon, to be fair, it is my fault at that point that I have not taken out your Pokemon. Baton pass to the sweeper. Yeah, yeah, I, I realized after I said it, but I'm saying like... If I ever get to a point where I've allowed them to set up that well and then baton pass, it is entirely my fault. Um, I know double team in the meta is annoying, but I I mean, like, even in the game, in my personal opinion, I just get real fucking salty if I get double teamed or sand attacked and miss, like, three times in a row. I, I lost my first or second battle against my rival earlier in this playthrough because um, their Pidgey or Spearow, whatever it was, used sand, atta sand Attack like three, four times in a row. And then my Squirtle missed like eight turns in a row. So that was really annoying. But yeah. Well, hello Cam Newton 786 Thank you for coming out to the stream. <laughs> If you want to leave any more setups in the chat that'll just give me a goddamn brain aneurysm, feel free. I love reading about them. I haven't... I was never really huge into competitive Pokemon. Um, speaking of a puckered butthole, try to minimize substitute toxic defense curl on Muck. I've made a team of six of those and my friends hate me. Cam Newton... You you sound like I don't I don't even know you, but you sound like something someone that I would not get along with. Just oh my god. You get like everything in Pokemon that I don't like there. Defense curls okay. I like stat boosting moves. Um An asshole, yes. Yes. I, I try not to I try not to say that about my viewers, but yes, an asshole is a perfect word to describe you. Minimize, I don't like. Substitute, pisses me off ever since I found out about it in... Was it in Gen 1? I don't remember. Whatever game I saw at first, I was just absolutely mind-boggled that Game Freak put something like this in the game. Um, and then Toxic, oh my god, status ailments. <sighs> feeling my blood pressure rising 
Yeah, smokescreen. Smokescreen would make make it worse for me. Do you do you do a lot of competitive battling, Cam Newton? Or are you just like uh, or do you just like battle with your friends or? I um I I I dabbled in competitive battling on like an online simulator for a little bit because I I couldn't be fucked to actually breed things with good IVs and then EV train Pokemon and stuff like reading about that stuff I was just like I'll pass on that so I I only did a little bit of it on like a third party type site thing um but i don't know i feel like i might get into it at some point especially with the i don't know how easy they've made it to just hop right into competitive with like all the changes they've made to how you ev train pokemon how easy it is to get better iv pokemon like I guess it, there's no real reason not to at this point. Except for the fact that I'm bad at Pokemon. Oh, um, bum bum bum. There are a lot of bridge, or a lot of, a lot of battles on this bridge that I do not remember. I was into the computer version of competitive for a while. I was a, I got a pretty good elo with a two Pokemon team. Your blood pressure would burst if I said it, but it is worse than muck and it won a lot. I, I'm gonna risk the chance of me dying on stream here reading about it, but I actually would like to know what you used that would uh, make me rage more than a muck. I'm, I'm like genuinely curious what it could possibly be that would like that could possibly be worse than that but if you don't want to reveal your secrets that's fine too I'm sure I'll end up getting into competitive and my first opponent will be you and I'll see your team I'll just like shut off my DS and like throw it against the wall and I'm not even a rage quit kind of person. I'm more of a, I'll just get salty and complain about it while I play, but keep going. Two second, it's a long typo. Yeah, no problem, take your time, man. I got nothing but free time, so. Ah, uh, no, I'll leave this in. Um, rock slide. All right, Spiro, going good. Get that out of here. All right, that's sweet. That's sweet. And Pidgey, yeah, we'll put in Jolteon again. I would put in Paris, but I don't think it. It doesn't really have anything to use against all these goddamn flying types. So that's unfortunate, but we can train it at a different part of the game. It probably would be the best thing for the six gym. So. <laughs> Probably gonna get a shit ton of experience there. Um, cause I, I'm pretty sure Jolteon will not learn its pin missile move until like 50 or something ridiculous like that. Maybe 40. Oh, please don't kill me. Please no kill. Please no kill. And after three. Oh, perfect. Then we'll quick attack so I don't die. Beautiful. B E U T full. I think I will probably heal up after this battle, so let me get some items out, get some revive. Use a revive on Squirter. And let's use Super Potion on him. And then we will use a Super Potion on Eevee. Beautiful. Okay. And... I think we go south now. Yep. And we'll see what's down this way. Um, okay. I think it, it looks like one trainer here. 
one trainer up. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Wants to keep fighting. Sends out a Pidgeotto. All right. Squirter should have this completely locked up with an Ice Beam. That's good. That should be one. Yep. Take it out in one move and see. Probably a Pharaoh. Yep. All right. That should be another Ice Beam. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I was just thinking, um, it would be a real, real, real pain in the ass to have to train this up, but it would be really f funny if I, um, if my final Pokemon on my team was a Ditto, like that, that, <laughs> that could really screw over some of the teams in the, um, Elite Four, like, I'm just thinking, like, if I took, um, when I'm fighting against Bruno, if I used Transform on the, uh, like, a what is it, a, I'm trying to think of the Pokemon's name, oh, Hitmonchan, um, that, that could really screw up his team, I just got a fucking Blastoise, there we go. Alright, I'll switch out because you finally hit 36. Put in Eevee. But, like, putting that in would screw over their whole team. Um, wouldn't do too much in the first gym, but it would be kind of... Or, the first Elite Four member would be kind of funny, though. Um, as for Agatha, I guess a Gengar would be pretty funny. I don't think... I don't think it would be entirely effective though. It'd probably be best to just use um, Earthquake to KO their whole team. For Lance, um, I mean, you could take Dragonite, but also kind of, I guess it would be funny, but it's not really effective. So I'll, I'll stay away from it. And here we go, here comes Blastoise. Big old fatty. Hello, Blastoise. Alright, anything over here? Nope. Alright, what is south of here? I'm assuming there's something also north of here, so I'll go check that out in a minute, too. Oh, there's a bunch of trainers down here. I'll go see what's up north first. Oops. Excuse me, I keep burping. I don't know why I haven't been on my bike this whole time. That would probably make things much faster. Um, I just got the game. Oh, were you the person in here asking if you could um get Pokemon Blue and Red on 3DS? Or was that someone else? But if you just got Pokemon Blue, that's pretty awesome, man. I'm assuming you got it on the 3DS and not bought an actual cartridge. As much as I complain about this game, they are still pretty good fucking Pokemon games. M much more simplified, really nice. The pacing's a little slow, but really fun. Generally recommended. A lot of the Pokemon in this game you can use. There's like a much wider selection of what's great, so I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun with it, man. Um, or at least I always have a lot of fun when I play the original Pokemon games. I just tend to rage about everything. But uh, also, thank you for coming out to the stream. Uh, I'm going to call you TGG. Or maybe T. Because I don't know how to pronounce something without vowels in it. <laughs> That's a pretty unique name, though. Alright. Um, Eevee is almost done with this Pidgeotto. Going to quick attack. Let's take it out. Perfecto. I got it on the Game Boy. Co oh, you bought a cartridge. That is even cooler, man. Um, I I will warn you though. Some of the older cartridges um are already at a point where they're gonna start. Oh, I guess this is it for up north. Some of the older cartridges are already at the point where they're going to 
their internal battery will die within the next few years, which um, normally means you'd have to stop playing and buy a new cartridge, but there are ways that you can actually replace the battery yourself. So um, if in the future, at some point you wake up, you try to play the game and it does not work, do not fret. You will just have to replace the battery yourself. Um, which I didn't know that. I got really worried the first time that happened to me for a different Game Boy Color game. So, yeah. Uh, oh, oops. I want to switch into Jet Fuel. And we ride out there because there's more room. Alright, man. Ride wherever you like. Biker wants sent out a coughing. That should be no problem. But see, the levels, man, they just went right up. The beginning of this route, they're level, like, 22. The end of it, they're level 29s. Not a lot of consistency. Alright, wing attack. That's good. Oh, I guess it's, pff, it's not good at all. Let's see if Fly does a good amount of damage. Alright. It's better, it's a lot better. I'll do it again, because it helps avoid getting hit. And this should take it out. Yep, alright, perfect. I'm keeping... I've kept Jet Fuel in the lineup, but I've been debating on whether or not I should take it out of the lineup, because I don't know how useful it'll be from now until the end of the game. I am poison now, that's fucking stupid. Um, mainly because I'm already past the grass gym. And I'm trying to think in my head of any more grass type Pokemon that would give me trouble. Especially in the Elite Four, because that's what I'm always planning for. And in my head, the only grass type I can come up with that I would need jet fuel for is um executor you like my streams thank you tgg that is very sweet of you um i do my best i haven't really been doing it for long so if there's anything that you think i could improve on feel free to let me know um i'm gonna be playing a lot of pokemon so if you end up playing this game and liking it and wanting to see if you'll enjoy the other Pokemon games, you can uh, go ahead and come back. I I might not be able to stream at my regular schedule next week, but um, I'm going to be trying to play through all the Pokemon games. So, Swords Dance. Oh boy, Farfetch'd is about to sweep. Um, that's pretty decent. Fury attack. Oh, that's not going to be good. <laughs> oh, man. Um, all right. It is not time to worry just yet. We might get a crit on the quick attack. We did. Perfect. And then we knock ourselves out for poison. Oh, no, it's the end of the battle. Perfect. Enjoy. What am I enjoying, Cam Newton? I don't see anything yet. Are you saying enjoy like you're peacing out? Because if so, have a good night. But if you sent something, I, I don't see it yet. Oh, there's a bunch of trainers. Um, text too long. It looks like the text was too long because I, I, I don't see any... Your last message, I typed a goddamn- Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, like, it, it didn't show up. Um, the last thing you sent before enjoy that I can see is, um, two sec, it's a long type out. And then there's just a bunch of messages from TGG and nothing else from you. That is... Why do they have a text limit? Oh, I get- It's probably to prevent people from, like, coming in here and, like- Typing a bunch of like a wall of racial slurs so that that's all the chat is. 
but um, that's annoying if you're typing out something actually relevant and then you get screwed over. All right. Level 33, that's good. I'll copy and paste into two things. All right, thank you. Um, cause I've been sitting here patiently. It was like, I didn't know if you like left or something. I was like, I really want to read this. I wonder where he went, but. Um, oh, disable. Okay, that's okay. Get the fly off. Don't read until it's all pasted. I, I'll keep my eyes glued to the screen or to my Pokemon screen. This should take it out. All right. Boom. About to use a coughing. I'll let myself. I'll let myself faint. Um, use a fly. Should be five HP here. Then I hit. I get knocked out. Yep. And then I can switch something else in. Um. Then I can switch in. I'll put in Paris, I guess. What was your first Pokemon game? Um, I'm pretty... Alright, so I was little, so I don't actually remember. To be... Or, I do remember. I have an answer that I think is right, but I don't know if this is entirely correct. Because it would be the opposite of what you would expect. So I did start playing in Gen 1. So you would expect that my first game would be either Pokemon Red or Pokemon Blue. Because they came out first. But I'm pretty sure I played Yellow first, which came out later, and then I played Pokemon Red. So I think Pokemon Yellow was my first game. But that wouldn't really make sense. Alright, you've got a Lipard. Or hold on, let me switch Paris to the top and then I'll read. You've got a Lipard with Swagger, Substitute, Foul Play, and Double Team, and any Pokemon that can put the enemy to sleep in one move that has good speed and a good sleep chance move. I don't remember the one that I used. Yeah, something with high accuracy. That makes sense. Um, something right now that would be good for that is probably... Um... Oh, I don't remember the name of the Pokemon, but it's the one that uses its tail as a paintbrush. Start out with the sleep Pokemon and put the enemy to sleep. Next turn, switch to a light part and throw out a substitute. Then just double team until the enemy wakes up. Sand attack is optional and may be better, so the enemy misses hitting your substitute. Um, then apply like two to three swaggers, increases enemy attack by two and confuses. After that, use foul play. Damages the enemy based on their attack stat, which you boosted with swagger. This sounds absolutely diabolical. Um, between the confused damage, miss chance, and foul play, you will kill every Pokemon. Remember to reapply substitute as needed and switch, your, switch to your sweet Pokemon at every new Pokemon the event sends out. Sleep Pokemon should also have leftovers and good HP pool. That is all. That is... Oh, it's poison. Oh, god damn it. Um, that sounds horrible, Cam Newton. I'm, I'm, I'm both impressed that you came up with something that diabolical, and a little scared that you're evil enough to think of something like that. And TGG, you said this is your first Pokemon game. Um, I think this is a great place to start with Pokemon because if you enjoy it, um, or l let me explain. When some people start playing Pokemon games, they start off with the newest game and they like it. But then they want to go back and play some of the older games to see what they're like. So, you know, they go back and they get some of the older games and then they don't enjoy playing them because the graphics are bad. Um, the gameplay is a little slow. They don't get all their favorite Pokemon. It's only the original and they don't enjoy the experience as much. But when you play the original games first and then don't play the other games until later. I'm going to bike all the way back up and heal my Pokemon. Oh wait, I can fly. What? I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, but so if, 
if they don't play the f Pokemon Blue and Red first, then they'll never end up going back and playing the originals because, you know, the bad graphics and stuff will really turn them off. Um, but I think you're in a good spot playing the originals first because now when you go through and, like, start playing from old to the new ones, you'll appreciate all the new features just like we did when we played them as they came out every year. So I think you picked a really good first Pokemon game, to be honest. That and I have nostalgia glasses for the old games. They like hold a very special spot in my heart. Um, <laughs> but okay, enough emotional sappy stuff. This is, I'm being too, too sappy. Too sappy for my own good. Um, and you said, if you don't believe that you can 6v2, trust me, you can. You can have three Lipards and three Sleep Pokemon. Well, let me tell you, Cam Newton, what sort of Pokemon team I want to have. And I will let you take a guess, and I'm sure you'll be able to guess what I'm interested in if I show you what my trainer name is. So my concern is, I know that Chuckle has been called a useless Pokemon. Even though it can perform the most damage possible in one single turn, I will admit that due to some stats and its typing, it does have issues with viability competitively unless you set up a team exactly for it. Oh, I forgot it was in my stream's name. Because my original stream's name was, I used the actual title Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends Blue Edition, and then I switched it around to Shuckle's Home for Imaginary Pokemon. But yeah, um, I want to have a, or I want to make a good shuckle team. Like, that's what I want to, that's, I want that to be my contribution to the world. Some, some sweet ass shuckle action, you know? And TGG, you don't know what shuckle is, but shuckle is the coolest Pokemon in the whole world. He doesn't get released, or he wasn't released until the second um, generation of Pokemon games, so you won't see him in this game, but, uh, when you do see him, you will understand. He is just the man, the coolest Pokemon ever. Um, I also really, really like Pikachu, but that's kind of, like, allow you to provide, you... You go ahead, man. You're, you are teaching me and everyone else that is watching the chat a whole bunch of, like, Pokemon knowledge. And to be honest, I won't get up to, um, like, recent games on stream for a while. But I, um, probably at the end of the summer, I probably will sit down with a newer game and do some battling. So if you have some shuckle knowledge to impart right now, I would love to hear it. And everyone else will be better off for hearing it, I think. So lay it on me, brother. Um, I'm gonna use Fly. And Cam Newton, you seem to know a whole lot about Pokemon. Which is pretty cool. Um... Some of my friends are into Pokemon, some of them are not. So to the friends that aren't into Pokemon, I seem like a Pokemon encyclopedia. And then to the friends that are super into Pokemon, I seem like a noob. So I think if I had to categorize you, you would probably be more like uh, the friends I have that are super into Pokemon that think I know nothing about the game. But that is okay. Be... <laughs> Cause you don't you don't need to know much to be able to play the first generation of Pokemon games. As long as you have a general idea of what the weaknesses are, which even then I mean general, because I have forgotten a lot of the very basic things since I haven't played in a while. But uh, yeah, I know this is really a deep pull, but like. I want to say 10, 15 minutes ago, I was talking about how... Actually, you know what? One second. I'm going to split the recording for YouTube into two sections. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to...